Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do all the way code and hack rank problems that are solution uh, playlists on my channel. In the description, has everything else you need to know. Finishing up last two or three linked list problems, and then I've done all of them on hack rank, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, delete duplicate value nodes from a sorted linked list. Okay, so. Um, what does this mean? Well, it means that we're given a linked list. So it says you're given the po pointer to a head node of a sorted linked list. So it's sorted too. Uh, where the data in the nodes is sorted in ascending order, meaning from lower to higher value nodes. Um, delete as few nodes as possible so that the list does not contain any value more than once, right? So we're going to do a linear scan through. We're going to want to, um, and we're going to want to delete all duplicates uh, node values. So um, the given head pointer may be null, indicating that the list is empty. So, okay, let's let's start this. So I just refresh the coding editor, right? We kind of get the problem. So first of all, I just want to handle if head node is null, we'll return head, right? That's it, simple. Um, and now what we're going to want to do is handle the rest. So what, what does this mean? So if we're given 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, we want to output 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Re remove that duplicate, right? So how do we do that? Well, we're going to loop through the list. Obviously, we have to loop through the list. Uh, I'm going to put one of my test cases that I'm going to explain later. It's pretty, it's pretty simple of a problem. Um, there's two things that you might want to look for in this problem that are a little bit tricky. One is just referencing. So you might think, okay, well, I'm going to just have a current node. Um, and then I'm going to do like while current node is not equal to null or while current node dot next is not equal to null. And then you might do if current node dot, uh, data is equal to current node dot next dot data, then we're going to want to do current node dot next equals current node dot next dot next, right? Um, so you might think like, okay, we'll loop through if the data of the, no this node and the next node are the same, we'll just set the next node to the next, next. So we'll just remove the one node, right? Um, the problem, and then you might be like, okay, we'll just return head at the end. So this is one thing to look out for. If you return head at the end, that has no reference or relationship to anything related to current node. Because we're just setting current node to head, and then current node is its own list now. We're just looping through things. Current node is its own separate thing. If you want to, and returning head is just going to return the regular list. So if we actually want to return that updated list, we're going to have to reference, um, we're going to want to have to set, um, and I'm sorry, I meant to do this. If you put current node to head, and then current node becomes its own list. So you can't just return head and uh, have a reference to this list. So what you want to do is, you want to have a reference to head, right? It's the same way, but you might want to call it new head, and then you might want to return new head. And in this case, you have this reference to this list, but now you want to do, you want to increment head, right? So new head is going to be affected. The, the, the list that you have here is going to be affected by head traversing and changing things. Um, but the other way around wouldn't work. So you want to be aware of that. That's one thing that I would say this problem uh, stumped me on at first. I was like, what the heck? Why isn't this working? Referencing is like kind of confusing sometimes. You just got to make sure you have that. The other thing is, well, you might just be like, okay, so we do this. This looks good, right? This looks good. We set the next go node to the next next. We just delete the node if there's a duplicate, right? And then we just traverse through, right? Head equals head dot next every single time, right? This makes sense, right? And then we return the new head. Really easy problem, right? Loop through, duplicate values, remove, just keep looping through, return, right? This doesn't work. And I'm going to show you the test case why, and then I'm going to explain that really quick. Um, this doesn't work because if you see here, we have for this test case, right? If we have one, two, three, 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 so if we have a ton of duplicates in a row, this is the reason it wouldn't work. And this is um, because if you're looping through, right? We're looping through regular, regular. Now we found two that are the same, right? We're going to set head.next. So head is head is here, and we see that the next node is the same. We're setting the next to this node, right? right? And then we're going to up update our pointer of head to here, right? Because it's head.next equals this, and then we do head equals head.next. So we go from here to here. We remove this one, but we're now here. Well, then we're going to do the same thing 
we're gonna do oh this is this this next node is equal so we'll do head dot next equals head dot next to next but we still have two duplicates we're gonna have this three and this three so what you have to do is actually add this else we only want to update our head to the next node if we've removed every duplicate so this else is going to handle the case where there's four or five six duplicates in a row like a bunch of duplicates in a row because it's just going to keep setting it's going to set this next pointer to the very last um the the value after the very last duplicate so it goes through because look it'll do head dot next equals head if this node is the same as this sets this to the next node but then it doesn't increment the head right so head is still here goes back around if this node is equal to this node then it's going to set this next and then it's going to set this so at the end of it we're going to have reference to the final value removes them all and then you can return head uh the new head and there you go that's going to be the answer hopefully i explained that kind of well so the two things you want to look out for is just referencing the head and the return make sure you're returning the right thing um because you just want to make sure that's good and then make sure you have this else uh, here that was the only thing that tripped me up other than that pretty straightforward easy problem very short um and pretty cool so uh thanks for watching check out my next video and see you guys later